no man who has taken time to holistically give himself to the word of God has not proved it that it works. The word of God cannot fail because this is the absoluteness of his power. An open invitation to a life in the word. Because you have received the faith of Christ and you have embraced the righteousness of God through faith. Grace and peace are multiplied. That is why we lay hands on the lame and they walk. We lay hands on the blind and they see. We lay hands on the deaf and they hear. It's powerful enough to give you the answer on its first application. Arise on the wings of revelation. Align your destiny. Transform your world. This is Fenero Make Manifest with Apostle Grace Lubega. Tell him I will worship you. Child of God. 
was led to feel I am a child of God I'm no longer slave to fear I am a child of God 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 Yesterday, today and forevermore What you say is what you do You never fail, you never change You're faithful to the end Precious God, I worship you I worship you You're too faithful to fail me You're too faithful to disappoint me You've proven yourself in my life And I've come to realize You're too faithful to fail me You are who you are Songs we should be singing. 
faithful to live me You're too faithful to leave me halfway What you start, or it's finished And I've come to realize You're too faithful to fail I love you, Lord For your mercy never fails me All my days I've been held in your hand From the moment that I wake up Till I lay my head Oh, I will sing Of the goodness of God Let's sing the first verse again. Let's sing it again. I love you, Lord. Sing it from your heart. For your mercy never fails me. Oh, my day has been held in your hand. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head. Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. Oh, 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 oh. All my life you have been Come on, sing it. this evening he wants to touch he wants to change he wants to heal he wants to transform 
He wants to reveal. He wants to redeem. Oh, Radigabu, Mashara Badigaba, Matu Badigaba, Rodo Bogo Zara Baladigu Sala La 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 Ba, Zoko Toro Poro Dogo Zanda Badigau. Come on, speak in other tongues. Speak in other tongues. Speak with expectation. So good. Come on. Every breath that I am able. Oh, I will sing. Oh, Zarara Badego, Zalala Badego. Come on, speak in other tongues. Do Shalabala Dego, Zabadego, Seboro Debo. Zora Badego, Sanda Badadaka. Take a few minutes and speak in tongues. If you don't have a tongue, speak any other way. But open your mouth and just bask forth. Shabadele Bagoda. Maro Padigaba. Manda Gozigate. Shoro Bodo Gozo. O Shada Barade Goza Barada. O Shada Barade Rebo Shaba. Come on, pray. Sandra Taka 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 Mato bodo gozondo go poro do go Zara pade gozando Ropro do go zoro boro do go Zoro bo go shira barade Come on speak in other tongues Zora mando ziga tara barade ke Maro pro do go zande Rade go zara barade Zoro bo go do Come on speak in other tongues Sopa barada gaba Mataka tara barade Robo do go zanda gataka barata Rato go do go zende Maso poro do go Rade go ziga barate Shora barabagarate Mota badaga Robo zoro bo robo goto Maso pa Come on speak it at a tank Zora mando go ze baradabaga Shobo koto koto Makata barata Raga bagata gata Mato badagade Zoro po koto koto Marate mane gozanda Masho patakalapa Robada gazogoto Eshanda badiga Ropadiga baga Randa gazogoto Ropro do gozo Rade gezegete Rando gozapa Zapata kata Shora pataka Rapata kapa Rapada kataka Shopa talapa Madaga bogorobo Madobo gozo koto Shapa kata Rapata kata Rapataka, Soparanaba, Robadigaba, Matobodogo, Soporokoto, Shatapakataka, Magabagata, Rakatoboro, Matobadiga, Soparadaga, Sopataka, Soparata, Saramande, Mando Bogoto, Matopadada, Rabagata, Sapakata, Ratabagade, Marabagoso, Masoborodo, Matabadiga, Ropakata, so katapa, so parada, mado bogoza, move something, move something, create something, marativa, bodo gozira, the Bible says that whatsoever you shall ask, when you believe, you shall receive it. Radi bagota, so mada bogo, mara podigada, so borolo bogoso, zakabarade. The Bible says if we ask according to his will, then we know that he heareth us. Rete bagade. And if we know that he heareth us, the Bible says then we shall have the petitions that we desire of him. Maroko dabaga, ngoshira paradega. Protoko tolopo, madaga zigata, sorando, mazoko, prakata, marada, kozada, parale, ngo 
Ozike, Mataka, Zokopoko, Matalapa, Mapredegete, Soparatala, Somakataka, Sopatila, Magatalapa, Maradegete, Madegete, Masharabade, Maprodogoto, Magatikala, Sokoroba, Zamadegande, Moserepa, Soparaliga, Maradegato, Matogodogo, Mazogodoko, Saraparate, Narataka, Makaparada, Soroporodo, Masarata, Hey, Makoba, Sobara, Reteke, Somande, Oprada, Moropolo, Matakala, Soropodege, Sobadagata, Sopapa, Yereba. You have to learn to pray. You have to learn to pray. Come on, press through. Press through. Press through. Matabadiga, Maporodobogo, Sopoko Shida, Radiga Barate, Magotilege, Masatalaga, Ratabadigado, Madiga Badagata, Sopanagatala, Masaparadega, Robadiga, Masobokoto, Matre Paradega, Robaziga Pala, Miracle Signs and Wonders, Rete Madiga, are happening now, Shimando Bogo, Mato Badaga, Sopokoto, Masopodogo, Maratogodo, Marakete, come on, break through, break through, break through, break through, Shara Pudiga, Madigaloba, Samadegato, Masoporone, Matagadiga, Ngosoro Koto, Matigatogolo, Marate Barate, Ngosoro Boroto, Rataligadoba, Robadagaso, Masoporodogo, Maratoba, Beyadiga, Masopogoto, come on, pray, Maso. Rabadege, Mando Gozogoto, Mata Paradagata, Sarakata Kata, So Paradigabade, the goodness of God, 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 it follows your house, the goodness of God, it follows your career, the goodness of God, it pursues your dreams, the goodness of God, it pursues your innovations, the goodness of God, it pursues your innovations. The goodness of God strengthens you. The goodness of God upholds you. The goodness of God advantages you. The goodness of God advances you. The goodness of God promotes you. The goodness of God puts you in places where men are advantaged, where men are helped, where men are aided, where men are succored. Ribadi goba, somadi go, masoparade, makobadiga. God will not fail you. 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 He's faithful. He's faithful. He's faithful. Samatoba Ratabadigaba Sapakaya Madagara Badaga Sopadaka Topa Matagadibada Soramadegosa Mayaga Magadibala de Sobodogo Masarapa Rakata Madigapo Masarata Makatalapa Rendegese Matobodogo Saranigaba Mezagoba Mosarabadega Sarate Bada Ramadigo Masonegete Eyabudiga Romadigato Satapakata Ayaga Yaga Matala Badigago Masoroboroto Holy Spirit we bless you we glorify you we're moving forward we are moving forward not backward Marco Badiga Sobara Legaso Mesigatoba we're in the increase we're multiplying Mato Badiga Soda Rato Gatigatala Mato Kosoto Maso Paradega Mando Gotoropo Rato Bodogo Sapa Badaga Robadagosa so paridaga roba sugoto sabadi kato manda kaparadega so paradego segete samane gote para ratabadigado marine gozala ngosika pada ngataka talaka jogo borotaga so marategele maso pandago madege beredege koshara leka mato badago two more minutes Ma Shapaliga, Ma Bradagata, Shakata Kata, Matala Paradege, Roba de Gata, Matagadiga, Ropanogo, Mayagoba, 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 Shamadogaba, 
Maratu Badiga, Masopaya, Samayeka, Rado Badiga, receive your breakthrough. Mando Jose, Sopala Dega, Rato Madiga, Somadakata, Masakate, Sopadane, Matakata, Somaratarapa, Rando Gozo, Yatabadaka, Sarapalade, Mapradega, Sora Padaga, Sora Madigo, Oh, 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 Samarebo. Ma proda gaba, so para de gato, ma sakaya, ma de bakaya, ma ra te badeha, go para de gado, ma se badiko, sarana gata, ma taga yereba, robo do gozo, sarane gete, so patalaka, so ma telebara, so badiko pa, so ye 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 bakaye, ma tabarada, kamo makasoda, rade gazona, sabagataya, he. Yahoba, Masogotoba, Rematete, Ngosare, Zorekete, Robokoto, Esilaba, Matobodogo, Masataka, Eyarabadego. So good. Yeah, yeah. Sabara de Gobra de Gosa, Sora Tama de Gosa, Gosara Bara de Go, Esabaligaba, Give the Lord a man of praise. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Clap to Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You may take your seats. Can you thank the choir as well? Yes. They know how to minister to us praise God hallelujah glory to God those of you who are standing in the back take your seats be quickly I want to preach Psalms burning hallelujah uh, let me apologize this Thursday you've realized we squeezed you out and we are trying because we have even had to send some people to live streaming centers so that we can create space for you. So I want you to bear with us. I want you to bear with us. We had to send a few to the live streaming centers because space is an issue. Praise God. So bear with us. Bear with us. We shall try. And, and God will keep you. The Bible says in Peter, who are kept by the power of God unto salvation. Somebody say, I'm kept by the power of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to welcome Bishop Nathan Serenjoji. <laughs> Good to see you, man of God. These are some of the pastors we, we have been, we fed many pastors, by the way, in COVID. We fed many pastors in COVID. So I was with him and Bishop Jumba, you're welcome. So hundreds of pastors ate food because those men helped us mobilize them. Praise God. I see wonderful men of God. You're welcome, all of you. Praise God. I might not mention all of you. Pastor Kabali. That man is married now. Yeah, Abbe's father. Praise God. The mom went to heaven and God got him another bride. Praise God. So we attended the wedding. If you see him with another person, yes, the God of contingencies. <laughs> Praise God. And many other men of God uh, that I, I, I see here. Man of God, good to see you. Hallelujah. Good to see you as well. Let me bless your offering. Father, we thank you for the most generous people in the world. Amaze them. 
in Jesus name chiwe de mukuru wedu in good to see you man of god hallelujah today our mandate is in the second timothy the book of second timothy the second chapter the seventh verse Second Timothy, the second chapter, the seventh verse. If you're there, you say, Amen. Are we there yet? Mm -hmm. Now, Paul says, Consider what I say, and the Lord give thee understanding in all these things. Consider what I say, and the Lord give thee understanding in all these things. Remember that Jesus Christ is the seed of David, and was raised from the dead according to my gospel, wherein I suffer trouble as an evildoer, even unto bones, but the word of God is not bound. Somebody shout hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, the word of God is not bound. Let me take this opportunity to welcome uh, 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 some of us who are there in what they call catch the fire. <laughs> Makere University, catch the fire. Makere is never going to be the same again, by the way. The first day, lame people walked. Deaf ears heard, crippled, and then tumors disappeared. We recorded 27 tumors disappearing on the second day I went there. Now, yesterday, God amazed us. Should I tell them? I gave a word of knowledge that somebody was growing a new tooth. And six people grew teeth. <laughs> six. <laughs> six people grew new teeth, fresh, where the dentist had removed. Six. Slap somebody and tell him, God, he is amazing. Six people. Six people. You know, one lady told us, I was never born with the two teeth down, I think. And they both grew out. Woo. <laughs> Hallelujah. And the crippled walked and miracle signs and wonders happened. So the rest of your universities, we are coming. Praise God. We're not going to leave any stone unturned. This year, we are believing God. And, and that's why I provoke you, Fanero. Don't believe for possible things. Don't believe God for things mathematics can calculate. Start confessing things under your breath that are impossible. Somebody shout hallelujah. You know, I've been preaching for a long time, but I'd never seen many teeth grown in one meeting. Never. <laughs> I'd seen one or two, but there were many. Praise God. And, and, and I believe God is going to do us good today. He's going to do us good today. So, Paul, through his son Timothy, is telling us that the things that I'm going to teach you, the things that I want to leave with you, remember them and have a full understanding of all these things. He says, for we know that Jesus Christ is the seed of David who was raised from the dead according to my gospel, for whom I suffer bonds and he says as an evil doer but the word of god is not in what in bonds now when you read paul paul was so arrested he was so beaten he was so persecuted that at one point he started calling himself officially a prisoner of Jesus Christ. That's just how much this man was beaten and arrested. You're coming from one prison to another prison. In fact, in Ephesians, he says, I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord. He calls himself a prisoner of the Lord because he was constantly arrested. Constantly in prisons. Somebody shout hallelujah. And not only Paul, but the Bible has given us a number of people, men of God, who for the reason of their faith found themselves in prison. Anointed by God, yes. Consecrated by God, yes. In the perfect will of God, yes. Blameless, yes. 
Fasting and prayerful? Yes. Spiritual? Deeply. You see, we live in a generation that thinks that everybody who goes through some sort of trouble has done something wrong. You understand? We live in a generation of people who think or assume that when somebody has made a loss in their business, they must not be doing something. Or yes, some might, might not be doing something. Some people are, go through some circumstances because of, big, of a way bigger picture than you are able to judge. That is why the Bible tells us, do not judge matters before time. Somebody might go through something and you're sure this one is gone. Yet they are in the perfect will of God. And something is working out a certain way. And one day, this will all play out to the glory of God. The Bible says, for all things are for your sex, that through the thanksgiving of many, this might redound to glory, for which cause we faint not. There's a reason why regardless of what we go through, we don't faint. Christianity is not a walk of people who give up. If, 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 you are, if you're the kind of person who draws back easily, you're in the wrong faith. Try others, not Christianity. Christianity is a faith of people who know how to fight. Who know how to take a fight. He says, for our light afflictions, which are but for a moment... They cannot be compared because they work for us a far more exceeding glory. Why we look not at the things which are seen. For the things which are seen are temporal. But the things which are not seen, they are eternal. Somebody shout hallelujah. Now, you read through scripture, for example, in Acts 5.17. A story is given of the apostles. Peter and the group arrested. I'm going to read two or three stories of arrests because I want to walk somewhere. Now the Bible tells us the high priest rose up and all that the we were with him which is the sect of the Sadducees verses 17 and were filled with indignation and laid their hands on the apostles and put them in, in a common prison. But the Bible says but the angel of the Lord by night opened the prison doors and brought them forth and said Go stand and speak in the temple of the people all the words of this life. Why? Because the word of God cannot be put in bonds. Somebody shout hallelujah. And when they had heard that they had entered into the temple early in the morning and taught, the high priest came and they that were with him and called the council together and all the senate of the children of Israel and sent to the prison to them that had brought them. But when the officers came, they found them not in prison. They returned and told them saying, the prison truly we sat with all safety and keep us standing out before the door. But we have opened and we found no man. That means the angel even after they came out, he locked it well. Are you hearing Yes, Paul, I mean, sorry, Peter and the rest of the apostles are in prison. But because they have something in their spirit that cannot be changed, God finds that he has to send an angel to get them out of that prison because they possess something that cannot be changed. Somebody shout hallelujah. In the 12th chapter, a similar issue happens. The fifth verse, Peter was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church for God and to him. And when Herod would have brought him forth, and same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains, and the keepers before the door kept the prison. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and a light shined in the prison, and he smote Peter on the side, and raised him up, saying, Arise up quickly. And the Bible says, when he told him, Arise, his chains fell off from his hands. And the angel said unto him, Guard thyself, and bind on thy sandals. And so did he, and he saith unto him, Cast thy, thy garment about thee, and follow me. And he went out and followed him, and wished not that which was true, which was done by the angel. In simpler English, he did not know that what was happening was actually real. 
But he thought to himself that it was a vision. When they were past the first and second word, they came unto the iron gate and that leadeth unto the city, which opened them unto his own accord. And when he went out and passed through this one street, and forthwith the, the angel departed from him, that's when Peter came to himself and realized truly, I now know for surety that the Lord has sent his angel and has delivered me out of the hand of Herod from all the expectation of the people of the Jew. Why? Because what Peter had inside him could not be chained. He had a mandate. He had an assignment. He had an agenda. Nothing would impede him. Nothing. Why? Because there was something at work within him. And that thing would not be bound. Lastly, Paul and Silas the Bible says in the 16th chapter, the 22nd verse, and the multitude rose up together against them and the magistrates rent off their clothes and commanded to beat them. And when they had laid many stripes upon them, they cast them into prison, charging the jailer to keep them safely. Who, had, who, who having received such a charge, thrust them into the inner prison and made their feet fast into the stocks. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God. And the prisoners had them and suddenly, the Bible says there was a great earthquake so that the foundation of the prison was shaken and immediately all the doors were opened and everyone's bands were loosed. When you follow that portion of scripture, the guard that was keeping them knew they were going to kill him. Peter stayed with a man, John, sorry, Paul and Silas. And long and short, they preached to that man and he received salvation and the whole of his household. Why? Because what was in them would not be chained. Now let me start preaching. You see, some of us don't know how the word of God works and why it comes in our lives. That is why some people can, can afford some deadly conveniences. Oh, today I will listen, tomorrow I will not listen. Today I will go to church. I don't need to go to church tomorrow. You see, some of you must understand, when Jesus spoke to us, he defined the power of the word. And he said, the words that I speak to you, they are spirit and their life. Somebody shout hallelujah. Now we sit through Paul trying to help us understand. He says, I, I pray that you'll understand these things. That the word of God cannot be put in chains. Albeit that the conduits, the vessels, the possessors might find themselves in places of imprisonment sometimes. They might find themselves in places of frustration sometimes. They might find themselves impeded in some way. You might find yourself once in a while in life stuck in some sort. It is not new that a child of God one day might find themselves as if they are locked up into something. It could be a habit, it could be a financial issue, it could be a marital issue, it could be a, a, a career issue, it could be a health issue. You might be found with something one day and you're stuck and some of you, you're dealing with something that has not taken place only one year or two years. It has actually been there for so many years. And I've had Christians sometimes sadly say, you know, Apostle, what's the point of believing? I have been here since Fanero began. I was here before anybody was here. Why is it that things in my life have failed to change? Why is it that I've not seen the results that I'm supposed? Yes, 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 I understand. Or perhaps you've been believing God for a certain healing, a certain something inside there has been disturbing you for years. You're dealing with a certain habit. You have prayed, you have fasted, you have sowed seed, you have flipped, you have somersaulted. Nothing has changed. And then you find somebody because they can't fix some of these things. Some draw back. Some give up. There's somebody here who is just a boyfriend away from living God. Just like a girlfriend away from living God. One ka girlfriend. Are you hearing? <laughs> they are one job away. One job. 
No, maybe two. No, no, maybe three jobs away. One little frustration is enough to draw certain people away. You see, I've realized this and I've told people this sometimes that you must develop a certain skin when you become born again. The problem here is not what you're going through. The problem is your attitude and understanding of these things. It's not what you're going through at that point. It's your attitude and understanding of those things. And that will determine whether you're going to stay in that circumstance or not. The issue is not that prison, that imprisonment. No, 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 no. The issue is not that space where you felt stuck. It's not that moment. That is not the issue. The issue is the understanding that you have about God and the attitude. Some of us have not been taught how to believe God. We were told to believe God, but we were not taught how to believe God. Do you get the difference? Told to what? To believe God. They tell you believe God, but we were not taught how to believe God. So it's easy to believe when things are predictable. It's easy to believe plus some mathematics. It's easy to believe plus some science. You understand what I'm saying? That's how people see life. That is why many of you cannot see notable miracles in your life. Why? Because you limit God to what your mind can interpret. You tell yourself, if my mind cannot interpret beyond this, there is no way this can work. Somebody shout hallelujah. But I've just given you an example of certain people here in scripture who knew what the word of God was able to do. And it comes as a revelation to the spirit of Paul that the word cannot be put in chains. What then are you to do? If God has told you the one thing that cannot be bound, what are you to do? Fill yourself with it. Fill yourself with what cannot be imprisoned. Somebody shout hallelujah. That is why when I'm sitting on the word of God, I don't just read the word. Many times when I'm reading the word, in my personal study, I just find that I'm speaking in tongues. Because something inside there is grinding. Sometimes I read something and it hits me and I find myself shouting as a whoa! Glory! Why? Because I'm, my spirit is receiving something. It is connecting to something. And God has promised if you know how to connect to this thing, that's why I tell people, don't play with the word of God. Don't. You don't know what it's doing. It's the only guarantee God has given you of what cannot be put in prison. What cannot be bound. Are you hearing me? I'm not just talking about applying the word when you're in trouble. I'm talking about understanding that even when you don't apply it, but it is in your spirit. In its own, it works through its own inherent power. The application is just mature responsibility. The Bible says in the book of Colossians, this word has come to you indeed in the whole world. That gospel, he said, is bearing fruit and is still growing by its own inherent power. Even as it has done among yourselves ever since the day you first heard and came to know and understand the grace of God in truth. When you came to understand the word of God and understand his grace, the word of God started working. You might not see certain things working outside. But every time you sit under a good word, something is happening. People might not see outward. Are you hearing me? Things might not change next week or next year. But when you're seated around truth, something in there is boiling. There's something in there fighting to take you out of that circumstance. Who understands what I'm saying? Many years ago, when I got to know the truth, 
The Lord Jesus appeared to me and told me, you're going to be tried for what you know. It almost sounded as though more comfortable to be ignorant. But then I figured if I become ignorant, I'll actually die without fighting. You understand what I'm saying? Because there are two ways to the word. Either be ignorant and die once. Or not, not too much and allow to be tried through it. The Bible says that the word of God tests us. The word of God tried Joseph. The Bible says it tried Joseph. Some of you don't know that when you say I believe. And, and, and you receive a word of faith. Something one day will come to shake you. To, to, to shake and say, Anita, did you get it? <laughs> Glory to God. And it might come through a silly report. Yesterday there was a girl who was going for operation. You saw her in Macquarie. They took her to the hospital for operation. She removed the cannula and ran to the ground. She said, I knew God was going to operate me today. That's a test. And true to form, the girl healed. There. The tumors disappeared. There. She didn't need a surgeon's knife. Jesus himself cut it out. Somebody shout hallelujah. Some of you, you're not, demons are not attacking you. No. Something is just trying that thing you read last week. Something has just come to test that thing you told you. People, you see you're laughing, you're jumping. You, you see how you're screaming? Huh? You might convince us that you understood. But a time comes and it shakes a little to see. Are you there? And that's when you see believers going back. She's screaming in the service. But when they give her a bad report, she tells the apostle, I'm gone. But in the meeting, you were screaming. You, you were writing while I was preaching and standing up. I see them writing. <laughs> Listen. Do not ask for so much if you're not ready to believe God. Because it's a very crazy place. Oh, we want to know God. Revelation. Yes. Although it's most dangerous if you know nothing. Because you'll die early. Put her down. Are you hearing me? But when you say I'm listening to the word. Of course the Bible says that some are we are tried through the very words we hear. Because you're building something in your spirit. Some of you don't even have a clue what you're going to become in two, three, four, five years. What you're doing is stocking up and stocking up and stocking up. God wants to raise people who, when they get to prison, look at Paul and Silas. Look at their reaction in prison. They're not sending WhatsApps telling their neighbors, I'm gone. If you don't see me, know I loved you. They're not writing on walls, never forget. No. They're in the middle of a storm. And they start praising God. Glory to God. Why? They don't see the walls. They don't see the chains. They don't see the iron bars. They don't see any of that stuff. Why? They are confident that that thing is inside them. Cannot be put in chains. The Bible says we have this treasure in earthen vessels. That the excellence of power may be of God and not of us. Not that we are sufficient of ourselves as to, as, as of to think of anything by ourselves, but the sufficiencies of God which has made us able ministers of a new covenant. Somebody shout hallelujah. I'm talking about getting the worst report and you go to sleep and somebody comes and asks you, how are you sleeping? We are tired of victims in the faith. You know, we have Christians who are victims of everything. 
They are victims of the government. They are victims of their family. They are victims of their color. They are victims of their car. They are victims of their shoes. They are victims of their bag. Where they live. The taxi they boarded. The phone they have. They are victims of everything. And if you're that kind of person, something in you has not yet understood what suicide. Rato badi garaba. Zoro bogoto koto. Roti galabadiga. Oh, I am telling you so because I have stood before a doctor and the doctor told me there is nothing medically we can do for you. Some of you don't know that place. You have no clue. Ask my father. My mother, they were there. I coughed every half, every day for two years. They checked my body and there's nothing they would find. And I lost my body. And they told me there is nothing medically we can do for you. I'm not talking about when you have flu. And they can give you a, a vitamin C. You've not yet been tested. I'm not talking about malaria because it has chloroquine. And francida. No, no. I'm not talking about that cough that has a syrup. I'm talking about that thing where a medical doctor tells you there is nothing we can do. Oh, oh, oh. If you are not built a certain way, they'll bury you. And whether you want it or not, in this walk of life, you will get to those places. If not now, next week, if not next week, next year, where you'll hear something that will slap the flesh out of you. And you're either switched on to believe God or you sink. This is not a game. It's serious. I tell you the truth. I went to God and I knelt down on my knees. And in my ignorance, I told God, if you're going to take me, tell me. So that I can prepare my things. What really? <laughs> I'm still living with my father. The only possessions I had were my shorts and shirts. And the voice came and told me, you know too much to die. Stand up. Don't complain. Don't cry. Don't raise alarms. You know too much to die. Fix yourself. I say, what? I thought an angel was going to come from heaven on wings and come and hug me and tell me dear son servant of god you are loved wapi nothing maybe some of you are looking for an encounter a man of god to send a, some fire on your chest a wah, and then things change i've been there i've been there And then I opened scriptures. I went back to the things I know. Now, now, they started to make more, more sense. You see, it's one thing to read the word eh? and you think you know it. Many people think they can split it. You know, the, the scriptures say, you know, pa, 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 pa. and then you hear the English and you're like, oh yeah, he got it, he got it. My God! But you test them and see how the words fall out like teeth. Maradigo badega. Tell your neighbor, walk out of that prison. <laughs> so I stood up and I read Psalms with long life. He will satisfy me and show me his salvation. Was I healed immediately? No, the pain stayed. It even worsened. My father came and told me, that man told me, I think let me take you out of school for some time. When you heal, we take you back. I told my father, you don't know who you're talking to. This man is past sickness. But every sign in there was sick. Every sign in the body of a dying man was there. I understood finally what it means that though our outward man perish, but our inward man is renewed daily. Nothing can renew that man like the things I'm planting in you now. Do you know some of you, many of you survived COVID because of the message? 
those nights when you woke up and you couldn't breathe and you find say yourself saying i can't die i can't die i can't die <laughs> glory One of our ministers here <laughs> fell sick. His lungs went to, what was it? What percentage was it? I forget. We went so low. And they told us now, anytime you're going to hear bad news. But in the hospital, they tell you, this man passed out. When he wakes up, he just says one word, I can't die. And he goes back. <laughs> The man just breathes back, I can't die. <laughs> and the story that killed me most, the nurse came to check on his oxygen. And he said, nurse, I think that man needs more oxygen than I. <laughs> he's on oxygen, but he's pitting other people. Why? Because something in there is telling him, not now, not now, not now. Glory to God. Not now. Not now. I just told his wife, I'm not going to visit him. Just get a salmon. Summons, put them on the phone and play. Just play them. Just play them. And the man healed every day and started preaching to the rest no you see you can't die you see you can't die you see there's a power somebody shout hallelujah that's exactly what i'm trying to tell you so don't take it lightly that the very thing that has killed people has not killed you don't take it lightly. Don't take it lightly. That the very thing that has killed others has not killed you. Don't take it lightly. There was something in there you were planting. It was there. So, I remember going through every sign of a dying man. I know it. You pass out and hit coma. You come back. You don't even know what's on the earth. But I realized this. That the word of God can settle in your spirit and make you look like a crazy person. I understood what it means for the gospel to be foolishness. The gospel can be foolish. You understand what I'm saying? The gospel can be foolish. Of course there's somebody who doesn't understand what I'm saying and that's alright. But I know somebody out there is saying, Apostle, I know. I know. That is why I feel sorry for somebody who does not know the word. Or who hears the word but does not believe it. They don't believe it. I went through everything. And I don't remember how. But my body started healing. 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 It took time. It wasn't immediate. But I remember that one day when I checked myself and there was no pain in my body. And I was like, wow. I have actually beaten this thing. After that day, I never took in sickness again. Never. And from that sickness, there's never been a day I have not preached because I'm sick. It's not there. Did I mean that sometimes you're not tested? And you can wake up and some hit poop, poop. Say, hey! Sarabade go badade. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hey! 
and the thing just if you don't learn that thing and put it in your marriage and put it in your business pastors this thing has to enter your ministry oh you understand what i'm saying it has to enter there every time it happens my spirit tells me the word is not in chains as long as i still have this thing coming out of my spirit you're joking i'll take the fight i will take the paul called it the good fight of faith why is it good <laughs> why did it why didn't he call it the bloody fight he called it fight the good fight of faith lay hold of eternal life lambano it aggressively catch it god is looking for a christian who can say mm -mm. you bring it it brings it on you bring it it brings it on you had any hardens so what if it's hardening harden also don't go out like that are you hearing me don't allow to be taken out without a fight no fight 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 the weapons of our warfare are not carnal yeah yeah yeah. i'm not talking about physical fighting no i'm talking about that moment where you'll wake up and say rado bagada it has to work yes i know you have not seen the financial breakthrough you've needed but maybe you gave up at one point you accepted yeah you tried it many times and it failed then you say you know what if i never see it it shall be okay such confessions such confessions you know you have had Christians saying, you know, Apostle, I've tried to ask for a job for these years and I've come to the realization, if the job never comes, it shall be fine. I understand if it never comes, but I don't understand that you accept to stay like that because God doesn't need to go through that job to make you. Who understands what I'm saying? If the job has refused, try something sell tomatoes if tomatoes fail sell onions if onions fail sell peppers if peppers fail slash whatever it is wake up in the morning without a job and start acting like you have a job because the word of god cannot be put in chains that's a fighter You book your ticket even before you get the visa. <laughs> Glory to God. Now that's foolish for some people and I understand you because you're too educated than you are revealed. You know, sometimes it works when you walk backward. And put the, the, the sometimes it, it works that way. So, sometimes you have to accept and put yourself in certain places of faith and tell God, This is my action. Now start working on that. I've, at least I've done, I've done enough to make you understand that I believe you. But some of you don't know how to provoke heaven, you don't know how to provoke heaven, you don't know how to provoke heaven. One time I was in a church many years ago. Let me give you a very interesting story. And I tell, I was preaching in an overnight. And after preaching in an overnight, I said, everybody stand up. So it's a small church of about a hundred people. And everyone stands up except one man. And I say, what's wrong with that man? And the man screamed, I broke my leg today. So I asked him, did you sprain it or broke it? No, it broke. See. And you know, something whispered in my spirit, whether the Holy Spirit or, or not, I don't know. And my spirit, I had some say, but can't you run crazy now? Can't you just run a bit crazy and call this man out? I believed it. 
And I told the man, come. Then they carried him. And I looked at the leg. But inside me, there is another voice telling me, Grace, you are sick. You are so sick. They need to check you. What are you doing? What if this guy, what if you are uh, Grace? Yeah? And then there's this voice telling you, Go ahead, Grace, go. Just go. Just go. Are you hearing me? You're here. You see, let me tell you. Let them not deceive you. It doesn't matter how much faith you have. There is another voice that will communicate otherwise. You'll always get to that point where you choose the side. But there will always be another voice telling you, to, don't, don't, don't enter this. This, 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 don't enter, don't. And I remember this voice telling me, every consequence, now you're going to pray. Now nothing is going to happen. After such a beautiful sermon, you are going to spoil it with a man not walking. Now those are chains. Those are chains. Tell your neighbor, walk out. Now, I remember, I just told the guy, th th this one, th the first voice kept insisting. It kept saying, this simple word, do it. Do it. Just do it. And it overwhelmed me. And I told the guy, do you believe you can walk? Maybe there I might get an escape. <laughs> guy might say, no. Okay, go back and sit. The guy said, huh? Huh? Like that, huh? And then I held the bone like this. Bwah. And those minutes again, the vo two voices are still speaking. He must walk. What if he doesn't walk? You understand? You're trying to remove the hand and it tells you, no, 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 it's not yet. <laughs> and then, while I was praying, I just had a man do like this. Then told me, Pastor, stop, stop, wait. Wait, Pastor. The man ran off. <laughs> They removed everything and he ran and I said oh the word cannot be chained by a broken bone the word cannot be chained by cancer the word cannot be chained by HIV the word cannot be chained by a man's report the word cannot be chained by incons your, 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 your infirmity it cannot be changed in fact Paul says I would rather he says, I would rather pride in my infirmities. I joy in my infirmities. Why, why is he joying in his infirmities? Because he has convinced himself over and over that what is in him cannot be put in chains. I wish you can get this thing. I wish you can get this thing. Where is Evans? Katwebaze. Is Evans here? I wish he was here. He would tell you. He had a relative who was dying of cancer. And they put a Zoom. And I started teaching. And teaching. And teaching. And this woman, out of the blue, she just said, You know what, Pastor? I'm not going to die. <laughs> she just said it. <laughs> and recently, they checked her body, there is no trace of cancer. Because she just determined in her head, she just had the word and said, uh -uh, I'm not going to die. It was a choice. No, I'm not talking about wishful thinking. I'm not, I'm not talking about talking something when it's not there. I'm talking about allowing this thing. He says, may the word of God richly dwell or abide in you. May the word of God dwell in you richly. So when I'm listening to the word, I want the richness of it. And it says, how does it enter? Through admonishing each other in psalms, hymns, spiritual songs. You see, get the scriptures in your mouth and start singing them. Now he 
which is able to do exceedingly abundantly above that which I dare to ask of thee. Think according to the power that walketh in me. It is in me that treasure in other vessels that the excellence of power might be of God. In him was life. He was the light of men. And that light shines in darkness. And darkness comprehended him not. He said, I'm the head and not the tail above and not beneath up what I go up and only for what I go. The path of the just shines brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter to a perfect day. The long I live, the brighter I shine. I dwell in the shadow of the Almighty. I shall say of my God that He is a good God. A thousand shall fall at my side, COVID. Ten thousand on the other. Maradigo salabale, but none of those things shall by any means harm me. Abago salabara la 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 I'm inaccessible to pain. I'm inaccessible to frustration. What if at that particular point something is happening? What if at that particular point the landlord knocks on your door? What if at that particular point you went into trouble? You keep singing it. He shall send angels charge of me to keep me from dashing my foot against a stone. Be of good cheer, Grace Lubega, for ye have overcome the world, because greater is he which is in you than he which is in the world. Not Uganda, but the world. Not Africa, but the world. Not Europe, but the world. Not America, but the world. You might even have a bad singing voice, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I remember a time I was many years ago there was a time I was so broke and I will never forget how many times I, 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 I sang he shall supply all my needs I sang it in every version he shall supply I remember he used to say all my needs according to his riches in glory and I would add not my salary but his glory not my father and mother but his glory not the white men but his glory not networks but his glory not your high school friend but his glory that's why I don't fundraise I even forgot to pray for your offering not because I don't honor it but I know how to man tell your neighbor learn to sing every word you read Make a song out of it. My first car that I first bought was a Mercedes. It was always my, my dream car. And I always used to sing, Oh Lord, you have bought me. I used to sing it. A Mercedes Benz. I used to sing it. 
He's my witness. A Mercedes Benz. A Mercedes Benz. And then a certain guy came and the Lord had told him that he had to sow in Mianua. That night I cast out every devil. No, it was a, it was an Ipsam. It was an Ipsam. He said the Lord was the Lord was telling him to give me an Ipsam. I, I, the whole night I said fire, go, die, spirit of poverty, leave me. I couldn't sit in that car. It looked like a certain animal. If you drive it, I'm sorry. An Ipsam. I said no, 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 no. Why? That is what I claimed. The word of God is in there. It is creating. Tell somebody, create. Yeah. My marriage is blessed. My children are wise. For the Bible says, My children shall you teach, and their peace shall be many. They shall be for signs and wonders. Maria kota la barade goza, kama di gosha la barade. My quiver is full. My wife can be barren. Mara tego la barade gosha la 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 barade goza. Vasho para la barade ga. Every time I'm praying, I'm preparing for service. The lame are walking, matago de. The blind are seeing, masori balada. Tumas are living, mato barade goza karade gala. Of his fullness have received grace for grace, truth for truth, power for power. The devil can't defeat such a man. Now I think you understand why when Paul and Silas are in prison, they say, let's do this, brother, let's do this. <laughs> They say, let's do this. Let's do this. The Bible says they started singing praises. God doesn't want you to cry. He wants you to get in the middle of an issue and bring out everything you are hearing and start singing it, rejoicing in it, fake a laughter. And before you need it, it will become real. That Ladies, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, that is called spiritual warfare. Yeah. Not these things people say, fire, fire, fire. No, 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 no. That's not spiritual warfare. No. Spiritual warfare is when you know how to speak the word. I wish you know the things we speak of a Fanero. Oh, you're growing. You're advancing. You're going forward. You can't fail. Listen, Mara de Gobada, Shota Katalapa. You speak to it until it starts to work. If it is not yet working, you continue. If you are speaking it 20 times, increase it. That's a crazy believer. But some of you, one week, you're excited for the sermon, and next week you're the same old brother without faith no he has told you my word can't be put in chains you might be in chains but my word can't so just allow this thing to come in your spirit and consume it and say you know what this is who i am this is what i believe this is what god has put for me you will be amazed you will be amazed. You will be amazed. You will be amazed. You will be amazed. Now I want to pray with you. You can get to your feet. I've spoken for an hour already. I have good news for you. What is inside you cannot be chained. It cannot be chained by sickness. It cannot be changed by the government. It cannot be chained by finances. 
it cannot be chained by, by, by the trouble you have in your house now. It cannot be chained by those who have refused to sign your documents. It cannot be chained. It can't. It can't. And today in a few minutes, I want to give you an opportunity with your mouth to walk out. Because the angel has given the word already. God's messenger has brought it. I'm not going to pray for you. This is the kind of time I'm going to tell you now. Fix yourself in a few minutes. Now raise your voice and aggressively deal with that issue. Tell it I'm coming out now. Tell it I'm coming out now. Come on, open your mouth. Open your mouth. The word of God is not chained. The word in your spirit is not limited. Come on, pray. And you made a way When our backs were against the wall And it looked as if it was over You pray made a way And we're standing here Only because you made away come on pray oh pray let's sing the first verse standing here shout out about go not knowing how we'll get through this test but holding on to faith you know best Nothing can catch you by surprise Cause you've got this figured out You're watching us now hey! And in it looks as if we can't win You rock the scene, your element step in <laughs> And everything we need you supply Cause you've got this in control And now we know that you, you When the packs were against the wall And it looked to say, come on you must break through you must win walk out walk out of barrenness But your grace was strong enough to pick us up for you, you, you made a way. When our backs was against the wall, come on, and you looked as if it was all. Oh, tell the devil you're not gonna draw back. He better be ready for a fight. There's nothing, there's nothing. 
has healed. I want you to wave your hand in the air. I want people to see. I want the camera to pick everyone who has been healed in this meeting. I will not call you out because of time. If you came with any sickness and it has left you and you feel the pain has gone or swelling or affliction, I want you to see that. I want you to see that. All of those have a testimony. If you came with a pain and it has disappeared, a swelling, a growth, a sickness and you feel something has left you, wave. That's how much God works. And that's just a physical sign. Many of you don't know what has just happened this evening. Hallelujah. Now let me do one thing before we leave. Please don't leave way yet. I tell people, usual after service, when we are going to make an altar call, some of you leave very quickly. And then you stand by person who is supposed to receive Christ. That's wrong. Sit for the two, don't sit, I mean stand for the two, three minutes. 
and allow that person to come in because you might walk away and the demon tells him follow that one so if you're here and you've never given your life to Christ and you said today I want that Jesus run here run here run here run here run here run here ask your neighbor if they're not born again preach to them in five seconds ask your neighbor if they're not born again preach to them in five seconds believe me you have the anointing come don't know how but you did it don't know how but you did it look at this how about you did it? Come. Don't know how about you did it. Come. Don't know how about you did it. If you're tired of the life you've been living, God wants to give you another. God is going to deliver you of those drugs. He's going to deliver you of that pain. He's going to deliver you of that test that trial that the bible says jesus became flesh he was the word from the beginning and he dwelt among us and we beheld his only glory as the only true son of god full of grace and truth jesus is the word of god now you walking forward means you are receiving that word today don't know how, but you did it. I can't tell how, but you did it. Ask your neighbor if they're not born again, preach to them in five seconds. Don't know how, but you did it. Thank you, Lord. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. God promised us this year our families are going to get born again. You remember? Our households are coming to Christ. As they, last week I had a relative get born again. Today I have another one getting born again. Our family literally is getting born again. Every week we're getting somebody. So should it be for you too. You can spread a bit. You don't need to express yourself. You can spread a bit. Come. Don't know how, but you did it. Yeah. Wow. 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 The devil wanted to take you to hell, but it is late. Come. 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 Something is happening in Uganda is happening in Uganda something is happening in Uganda something is happening in Uganda all right I'm gonna give it another one minute only only one more minute 60 seconds please hurry this is the best decision you could ever make Best decision you could ever make. Wow. 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 Just be a little patient. To that finished Ali. Hurry, hurry, please. We're waiting only for you. You're the person. Do you know why people are screaming? Because even heaven is celebrating. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hurry, brother. Hurry, hurry, hurry. We wanna pray. We wanna pray. We wanna pray. We wanna pray. We want to pray. All right. Come. You're going to repeat these words after me. 
and I, I was told there are people on live stream that also want to give their lives to Christ. Those of you on YouTube, those of you on Facebook, those of you on Manifest Television that also want to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and everybody that is here with me, I just want you to repeat these words after me from your heart. Say, Father God, I thank you for Jesus because he died for my sins and he was raised for my glory. Tonight, I receive you as my personal Lord and Savior. I believe that you died for my sins and you were raised for my glory. I'm born again. Amen. Put up your hands and I pray for you. Father, I pray for these ones as they've started this journey. Amaze them. Establish them. Deliver them. Relieve them. Spirits of darkness. Loose. Spirits of witchcraft. Loose. Spirits of struggle. Loose. Spirits of death. Loose. Hey. Get out. Get out. Addictions. Loose. Loose. Is done. So I'm going to ask you for one favor. Those of you who have received Jesus as your Lord, I'm going to ask for only two. Oh, my girl has gotten. Oh. I'm going to ask you for only three minutes only. You're going to walk there. We just want to write your names because I want to pray for you personally. So there's seats there for you. You just want to register your name, help, because we want to give you information to help you understand what it means to be born again, follow you up, pray for you, and with you in Jesus' name. So I'll ask you for a minute, please. Just walk there, just for a short prayer. And uh, just register your names, and that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, I will see you on Sunday. Those of you who are coming for Sunday service, carry somebody, especially second service. Praise God. We are about to open the third service because of the numbers, but just carry one person. Next Thursday, carry one more person. We, we, we will create more space, hallelujah. Just one more person, just one person. Get one guy and come with them and say, you're my project. I will see you. What? Apostle Emma, come and tell us. I want you to hear this miracle. I want you to hear this miracle. Tell us. In Wale, Speak louder. Someone in Wale live stream. One of the live streams. Yeah. Seeing. What are you seeing that I'm not seeing? Can somebody give me a feed here? Huh? It's working. Okay, let me come and see from there. <laughs> what was happening? What was wrong with him? He walks now? How come he's not working? Oh, he walked long ago. He's been walking. Oh, praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right, see you next week. Sunday, sorry. Me too. Fenero Ministries International. For more information about the great work of God, visit us on the web at www.fenero.org or download the Fenero app today and enjoy sermons, daily devotionals, and timely updates. The Fenero app, available on both Google Play and Apple App Store. You may also email us at info at Follow us on social media platforms on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Venero, make manners.